Hey guys, this is Kelly and I have another process video for you. <clears throat> this layout was done at a crop that I went to and I have started on this layout just a little bit. I realized that I wasn't recording and so I had already stuck a few layers down so I just went with it. Um, I am using pieces from the January hip kit and um, as you can see basically I have one uh, strip of that turquoise triangle paper and um, I that was a scrap and I believe it's fancy pants but I'm, I'm not sure 100% and then I um, used some papers from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity 6x6 pad and the banner piece, that pink banner piece that has XOXO, and the yellow and white stripe, and the uh, wood grain are all from that pad. And I did have that pink doily in my stash, and I was able to use that. I cut it in half and put one part in the upper right to form a cluster, and the other um, down on the bottom left of the photo. So what I did is um, you can see in a, that I have a pile to my left of flowers that I cut from the Dear Lizzie pad. Um, I originally was going to use the flowers for this, but I didn't quite like how they had looked, so I'm going to save those and use at a different time. And um, I cut that love from one of the dies, and I believe that's also the Dear Lizzie, and that's, I think, her first collection set of dies that she had. Um, at the bottom of the page, you can see that I have a pale pink strip, and that is a Dear Lizzie paper from an older line, and I'm not sure which one it is. And um, I used the Kiss Kiss chipboard, the uh, Love Mason Jar, and um, at the crop I did bring, you know, some different things, and my goal at this crop was to try to use uh, something that I had brought, you know, like my colored ink pads, or um, the stitching templates that I have from Amy Tan, or my stamps. Um, I'm famous for bringing stuff and not using it. So having that goal in mind, I was actually pretty good in, you know, being able to use uh, one of, you know, something on a layout, you know, whether it be, you know, the stamps or, you know, things from my stash that I had pulled. This layout um, was also in response to a hip kit uh, weekend challenge. And um, there were some ingredients listed, and I don't know those off the top of my head, but I do remember that one was to have at least four uh, or five different pattern papers, and um, one was to use chipboard, and another was a wood veneer. And actually, yes, four, there was a circle element involved, which my doily took care of. So those are what I remember offhand, and um, uh, oh, and the fifth is stamping. That's what it is. So I'm taking that love die cut, and it's not quite the color that I want. So I'm putting it on my Avriel uh, pad and just smushing it down. And you can see that I have a piece of paper that I cover the die with, just so I don't get the ink all over my hand. But that just helps get the color evenly distributed. And with it being that dye ink, it does take a little bit longer to dry. And I did pull out the stamp, and it says, So Lucky to Have You. And um, that would definitely describe the relationship between my daughter and this kitty cat. They are uh, frequently seen together, and this poor kitty has put up with uh, my daughter cuddling her and putting her in a baby carriage and, you know, prancer around the house, so uh, she is definitely a good kitty. So what I'm doing at the bottom is I knew that I wanted to um, ink 
my wood veneer and I wasn't sure how well those Prima chalk inks would do so I just tested it out on the back of one of the wood veneers and it did well so I used the white chalk ink to ink that uh, wood veneer and place it over the hearts not sure what I'm getting ready to do I can tell you that um, it being at a crop uh, was good and bad it was good because I like to see what other people are doing and um, you know just to have fun and talk with friends but uh, bad in that I never get as much done as I would like to because I'm talking and um, you know it, it it's just you have expectations, or at least I set expectations, and um, I never quite get there, but that's okay. So I am putting away the dies, and that is a Dear Lizzie die. And uh, what I have done is I have uh, cut a magnet piece of paper and um, put my dies on them and just stuck them in a binder that I found at Staples. And I don't have a ton of dies, so that works fairly well for me. I did pull some enamel dots from my stash. I did use up all of the enamel dots that came in the January kit. I was excited about that. And I'm just looking for three different colors that I can use, and I end up using the turquoise, a pink, and a yellow. So I went and pulled out um, some more embellishments just trying to see if I could use anything else that I had brought with me and um, I pulled those Maggie Holmes bows and I was able to pull out one and add. Um, again that was one of my other goals is you know to you know bring my stash but actually go through it and use it. if I you know, brought some of my Maggie Holmes things I wanted to use, a couple of them. Um, it's, you know, I have literally gone to a crop where, where I haven't touched, you know, like a whole section of the items that I brought. So I really, really tried to pay attention. So um, I am going to glue that down with my quick dry adhesive. And I have gone ahead and bought that uh, bottle that everybody has um, now at Hobby Lobby. And I just put it in, so I'm going to see how that works for me. I'm just taking a uh, piece of paper and wiping off some of that extra glue so that when I um, put it down on the paper, it doesn't come out. And you can see that I still needed to put a little bit more. So I pulled out a new mist for me. This is the Heidi Swap Butter, and it is a beautiful yellow. Oh my goodness, it is just so pretty. It's not like a gold yellow, it's truly a butter, and um, that's the name of it. And I am just committing and putting everything down on the page. This layout is uh, just about over. Um, I think that's pretty much all that I did with this one. Thank you so much for uh, taking time to watch my video and to my new subscribers. Thank you. And if you have something that you'd like to see or a question, just leave me a comment and I will get back to you. And I do have these stills at the end to give you a close up view. Again, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.